This is Kissel from Creation Kissel. In this video, we'll look at how to create a circle doodle with a script in PaintShop Pro. The circle doodles script is available for you, and when you start the script, you get to choose the size of the overall project. The size is approximate. You can now choose a random drawing that will be created by the script or a design of your own choice. Let's pick the random drawing. Then you pick the color for the lines. I'll just take black. And now I have the option to tweak or modify the shape or use it as is. If I want to use it as is, I simply click no and it will use this shape as it was created. Now I choose a number of rotations. Let's choose 20. And the script is working on its own. Now you can merge the layers. And the design will be cropped. So this is one way to do it. Now let's try different options. Again, we'll use the same default size. Also the random drawing. And we'll be using, again, black as a color. But this time I will want to tweak the size and the shape of my line. So one thing I can do is I can increase the stroke width to 10 if I want to have a thicker line. Also the nodes are available and they can be tweaked and adjusted as I want. So maybe I want to have something over there and one thing you can notice is that this kind of end will usually give points on the outside but if I am to turn them around there are chances that I will have something that is more closed off. So I'm going to just move this so I won't have any loose end and I'll keep this close to the center. Since everything is going to be rotated around the center that means that I'm going to have a small hole here. So let's continue and I'll use 30 as default and it will turn all the layers around. And now I will be merging the layers together. And again, it's cropped. And as you can see, that curve on the end of my initial shape made a closed design on the edges. So it's going to be easier to color. Let's look at other options. Again, I'll use a default random drawing. I'll choose the black again and I'll tweak it again. Something I can do also, I can right click, edit and merge which will remove one node if I want. So again I'll try to get some kind of a curve that way. And I will increase again the thickness and I'll run it again. Let's do it again with 30 repetitions. Notice that the design will go, seem to go off the image but the script will take care of that. At this point, I will not merge the layers, but what I can do in my layers 
I can change the color from the black and maybe I will want to have some I go adjust brightness contrast brightness contrast and I will increase it maybe to get something white and I can alternate like this and with control Y I will repeat every second layer so I can get something interesting In this example, I'm just changing the color or the brightness, but I could actually change the color or even apply some effects. And now, if I want to merge everything, at this point it will uh, cut off the edges. So I want to adjust my canvas size first. Maybe I'll go 1200 by 1200 in the center so I have plenty of room around and now I can right click and merge visible and I'm done now I can crop if I want using the merge opaque and I'm done so that is another way how about now you, we use the second option so instead of using the random drawing I'll use a design of my choice the script will create that blank image and I can do whatever design I want so maybe I will want to have a symmetric shape and so maybe I want to have that star star shape I'll make it five points and let's see that's not really I have this star here maybe the line is a little thin so I'll change the stroke to all a good 15 let's change instead of black maybe I'll try a gradient with that big stroke and I just continue let's try again that 30 and let's merge them and it's done I can also use something else so instead of a shape I can use some text and using my text tool I can create a text I'll change the size that's too big so maybe I can have that Christmas word Since it's going to be rotated around the center, I don't want to have everything piled up in the center, so I'll move it slightly off the center. And when I'm done, I continue. Let's do only 20 this time. And I won't merge the layers because what I want to do is get my original element and 
I will emphasize that one layer simply by hiding it. I will merge all the visible, so all the other layers, and I'll reduce the opacity of all the layers except this one, which will stay and be more a focus. So I can just reduce the opacity and have something interesting, which can now be used as a decoration for an ornament. So now it's your turn to create some fun elements using the Circle Doodles script.